For this week's video, I thought I'm gonna show you what I'm eating in a week. It is Monday, it is 7 a.m. and I just made myself a little snack before I'm going to the gym because I don't like to train on an empty stomach because I don't feel like I don't have any energy and I don't wanna feel like I'm passing out during my workout. So I always make sure I eat at least something for a workout. I pretty much always eat toast with peanut butter and jam and a banana on the side. By the way, these bananas. <laughs> I mean, I always buy my bananas more green than yellow because until to the point where I'm eating them, they are like perfect. But this time, <laughs> they're actually a little bit too green, even for my taste. They're, they're not even slightly yellow, they, they are green. And then I'm gonna have my actual breakfast after the gym and I also prep my supplements. I have a pre-workout before the gym. Um, even, though, even though I'm having coffee, I still have pre-workout because I need... I need a lot of caffeine and also some BCAA that I'm just drinking during my workout. Already in my <laughs> gym clothes. The leggings is from Gymshark. It's the Ombre, Ombre, Adapt Ombre. And this is the Bandeau in green. They don't have it anymore in this color. I love this combination. And obviously this is the crop, crop sweat, no crop, crop sweatshirt. Uh, would it? No, crop, crop sweatshirt in a black. So I'm done at the gym and I'm just having my protein shake after my workout so that I have anything right after working out, you know. For my breakfast, I'm just having some oats. I, I honestly, I eat oats pretty much every day um, because they're super simple and very quick and they keep me full for a long time. I like to make mine in a microwave because then I don't have to uh, make anything dirty. I don't have to use any dishes. They don't look very aesthetically pleasing. Um, <laughs> I tried my best. I just added some chia seeds, some frozen strawberries. I like to heat them up in a the microwave and they get a little bit juicy. Even though they look a little bit disgusting, they taste amazing. Topped it with some peanut butter and some agave syrup. Do you need that much protein powder? Absolutely not. This is way too much and not necessary. I'm aware of that. But I like to have something to eat, drink right after the gym um, because I don't eat for... You know, I have to walk my dog and I have to take a shower and then I eat my breakfast. And I like to have a scoop of protein powder in my oats because it tastes amazing, okay? I can't eat oats without it. It tastes absolutely disgusting and I, 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 couldn't, I couldn't eat it, okay? Probably not the healthiest, probably not the best thing to do, but I, I personally like to do it, so. So I'm about to make some lunch and I'm gonna make like a shrimp potato bowl with some salad, um, olives. I know shrimps are not everyone's thing. I personally used to hate them and then one day I was like, oh my gosh, I love them, I'm obsessed with them. You can definitely switch them out with, I don't know, another fish, chicken, chickpeas, whatever. I don't buy them very often because they are super, 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 super expensive. If they weren't as expensive or if I had more money, I would probably eat them every day because I love shrimps. <laughs> this bowl looks maybe a little bit fancy because it has not a lot of ingredients, maybe a lot of ingredients, I don't know. But I haven't made a bowl like this in like forever and I was craving it and I really wanted to make one because now I have time to make one. This is not my recipe. I saw this from Chrissy Chella. She's like a fitness influencer. I'm gonna link her video down below if you want to check out her video. and quick dressing. I'm just using some olive oil, white wine, white, <laughs> white wine vinegar, lemon juice, salted pepper and some Dijon mustard and some frozen... I'm just guessing the measurements. I don't follow a recipe, I just go along and see how it tastes. <laughs> shrimps 
I'm just throwing them into a frying pan with some olive oil and some fresh garlic because I feel like the fresh garlic makes it when you make shrimps. By the way, I hate my nail polish. Like, I painted them yesterday. Yesterday! How, how does it come off already? done this is what it looks like um, honestly it's a combination of everything but I especially love the pomegranate seeds it's dinner and what I'm making is this virus salmon bowl from TikTok. I'm pretty sure everyone has seen it. Um, so I'm gonna leave if I can find the original recipe in the description down below or I'm gonna leave the name of the girl. She's called Emily Mariko if you pronounce it like that. I don't know. I don't do it exactly like her. Um, I don't have to see with stuff and I don't do it with the ice cubes. And for sauces I'm using soy sauce, sriracha, the spicy mayo and a regular mayo. Although Spicy mayo is kind of like sriracha with mayo, but I, I still think it, ha it tastes different. I like to have a little bit of extra mayo in it. And with a little bit, I mean like a lot. I usually love to use Hellman's mayo because Hellman's mayo it, it is the best mayo in the entire world. Like there's no other mayo out there that, that tastes better. But I don't have any, so I'm just gonna use this random one. I pretty much eat this all the time because it is so easy and it doesn't involve cooking, which is great. I know it doesn't look very good but it, it tastes amazing and I could have made the avocado maybe prettier but that's that's just how I eat it, I just throw it into a bowl and... And for my last meal of the day I'm just having some cereal because I'm lazy and I don't want to make anything else and I'm just having friends in the background. <laughs> morning it is Wednesday and I didn't really film yesterday because I pretty much ate the same or I ate exactly the same than what I was eating on Mondays. I'm someone who eats the same pretty much over and over again. Um, usually I would eat the same from Monday to Friday or Monday to Thursday and then I eat something different on the weekend because I don't like to think about what I want to eat. I can think about something different and I don't want to cook every day, okay? For me, it's it's easiest and I don't mind eating things over and over again. I don't know, I don't, I don't get bored. So then I'm not always eating oats. I thought for today's breakfast, I'm gonna make a mango smoothie bowl and I just prepped some. You can hear the oven all the time, like this cracking sound. It makes me, makes me nervous. I prepped some toasted oats I haven't made them in a while. I used to be obsessed with them because you can easily throw them into yogurt or something and they are so good. I'm pretty much just gonna throw everything into a blender and then try, try to make it look nice. exactly like I wanted it because it is a little bit more um, fluid, runny. It should be a little bit more, um, you know, there should be more consistency. Consistency? No. It should be a little bit thicker. I mean, it still looks pretty. The fruit sinks in a little bit, but the rest sit on top. I was like, everything's just gonna drown and it's gonna look horrible, but... Why? <laughs> I'm trying to film in this corner of the kitchen because in this corner of the kitchen it is super messy, super dirty. There are a ton of dishes. <gasps> 
because I didn't have time yet to clean and put everything away. But I want to make some lunch because otherwise it's going to be too late and it's almost dinner time. So what I want to make for lunch is kind of like also like a bowl. I have like bell pepper, broccoli, which I'm just going to throw in into the oven and some chickpeas and some rice that I already cooked. And then I'm going to make like a yogurt hummus dip to put it over everything. this huge pimple here that I covered all day and now you can clearly see it. So I'm about to make dinner. I'm already annoyed <laughs> by the amount of cooking that I do this week because usually I don't cook that much. Um, what am I gonna make? I'm gonna make some pasta with tomatoes and beans and yeah, that's pretty much it, like very simple. By the way, if I didn't mention it, um, I think I didn't. I'm not pescatarian because I haven't eaten any meat yet. I, I I have a phase where I like, I don't like meat. I don't like to eat meat at the moment. It's just personal preference. Doesn't mean that I don't eat meat at all. Um, If I go to a restaurant or order something, I usually eat meat. But for right now, I just cannot eat it at home. Um, If I'm gonna film on the stove and it is dirty, that's because I was too lazy to clean it, okay? So... Thank you. <laughs> I was almost done. <laughs> I was almost done and I was like, oh wait, I, I forgot the beans. Um, I, I wanted to, I kind of only wanted to make it with the tomatoes. I was debating, am I gonna put sauce in it? Am I not gonna put sauce in it? And I was like, it's not, it's not saucy enough. And then I decided to put some sauce inside. I think now it's a little bit too saucy. <laughs> now I regret it putting in that much sauce, but whatever, whatever. I have, I have some cheese and cheese makes everything better. So I usually buy it pre, you know, pre, I don't usually do this myself, but I had this block of cheese that I didn't want to go add. And it tastes better if you do it fresh. I have to admit that, but yeah, usually I'm way too lazy to do that. Yeah, we're just gonna accept that the lighting is garbage. Always put so much cheese on it that you don't, <laughs> you don't see the dish anymore. That, that, that is perfect. So for my last meal of the day, I'm having some yogurt with my toasted oats and some blueberries. I wanted to make this earlier uh, in a week because it is already Wednesday, um, but I was too lazy to make the toasted oats and without the toasted oats, I don't want it. I used to love yogurt in the evening, like it was always my favorite dessert. I was looking forward to it every single day, okay? Um, it was like the best thing in the entire world. I just switched it up, you know, sometimes I had like chia seeds or toasted oats or something crunchy in there, cereal, whatever, and I always changed the fruit. And I was obsessed for a very, very, very long time. And now... <sighs> I cannot eat it anymore. It's like I stopped eating it for months now. I always eat cereal in the evening, which is not the healthiest and I'm not very proud of it, but that's just been my dessert for the past few months. <laughs> but I decided to, um, wanting to be a little bit healthier and not having cereal every day and switching it up with yogurt again. But it's, it's just like, I don't know what it is, but from one day to the other, like very random, I just, I just couldn't eat it anymore. It feels like, throwing up. I, th I also saw a TikTok on this, like when you, we have to just chug it down for the protein or I don't know how to say it. It's like, I don't know, it, it, it starts tasting so disgusting and like it's like, like you don't, you, you don't, you can't eat it. Um, so I'm pretty much forcing myself to eat it. <laughs> I really don't like it. I put so much toasted oats and fruit inside just so that I don't have to taste the yogurt as much and then I just drizzle it with a garbage zero which is also the healthiest but balance So I'm home from the gym. I had a toast and a banana before going to the gym, just just, just like always. And now I made myself the exact same smoothie bowl as yesterday, but I froze the mango, like the fresh mango that I cut yesterday as well, and the banana, and now it's more creamy. And I used uh, the leftover pomegranate seeds that I had from the lunch earlier this week. I wanted to say something. I don't remember. 
So it is Thursday evening, time for dinner, and Thursday evening means best evening of the week because Germany's next top model is on TV and I like this is pretty much my highlight of the entire week. Because Germany's next top model is on TV today, I thought we would order some food because oh, why not? Um it's right in the back. We ordered some burger and fries, which I'm very excited for. Today is Friday, I went to the gym, I had my toast and my banana before I went to the gym, just like always, I didn't film it because it's always the same. And for my breakfast today, I'm eating the same oatmeal that I ate in the beginning of the week. I'm actually really excited to eat oatmeal again, it's like, honestly, I always complain that I only eat oatmeal and then I want to switch it up, but when I switch it up, I do miss it. I, I always do miss it, like nothing, nothing nothing like oatmeal in the morning especially because it has been freezing cold the past days i like the smoothie bowl i liked it but i think it is better for summer <laughs> i made the salmon bowl again for lunch um can you tell i'm absolutely obsessed with it it is saturday morning and usually on a saturday i would go to the gym but today as you can see, uh, I'm dressed up because I'm going to my mom and we're gonna have a brunch. So that's what I'm gonna eat pretty much today as, well, my breakfast and my lunch. So I'm just gonna um, insert a little clip of what we're gonna eat and then probably I'm gonna have something for dinner if I'm hungry in the evening. It is Sunday and I thought for breakfast I'm gonna make some pancakes because I haven't actually made pancakes in like a year um, Because I'm usually way too lazy to make them. So yeah, but I was really craving them So I thought why not make some pancakes today for the purpose of this video? I'm gonna follow a vegan recipe not because I'm vegan, but I cannot eat eggs So I, ha I had to find a recipe without eggs and I but it actually is not vegan because I am using protein powder that is not vegan. But yeah, I'm gonna leave the recipe um, in the description box down below if you want to make it It's actually like with two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar, which I never ever used in pancakes I had no idea this was a thing. So all you're gonna need is some almond milk, um, apple cider vinegar, some flour, sugar Your favorite protein powder. I have the whey protein powder from women's best in cookies and cream baking powder and some salt I never know which size for the bowls I should choose because I'm always like, I don't want to choose a bowl that is way too big, but I also don't want to choose a bowl that is way too small because then you have to change the bowl, which is a lot of work, so... I don't know, I need one for the wet and one for the dry ingredients, so I hope that it will be good. fruit I got some strawberries fresh strawberries not frozen I usually don't buy them in winter because I'm always like ah it's a little bit too early but I was like you know what I'm just I'm just gonna try them and the uh, convenience of these are that they are so <laughs> so not natural that they don't go bad very easily because of all <laughs> all the chemicals but but I forgot how fresh strawberries smell and I'm very well aware that fresh like fresh strawberries from the garden they smell different I know that I know that they don't smell like this but strawberries always remind me of summer and better times so <laughs> I use this woman's best sugar-free maple syrup, um, but you can use any sweetener that you have, obviously. Um, if I look a little bit weird, that is because I have my fake tan on, so please excuse that. And my hair is still a little bit wet. I didn't fully blow dry that. <laughs> so I'm about to make some dinner, and what I'm gonna make is like a brunch penne salmon pasta. Um, I'm using this here for the sauce, which is paprika pepperoni 
it's a little bit spicy and to make the sauce a little bit more you know not not so thick i just use a little bit of the pasta water and then mix it together i'm gonna show you and i'm also gonna have like a garlic baguette on the side which i would usually buy at the store totally i would never ever do that myself because i'm too lazy but they didn't have a garlic baguette at the store so my boyfriend made us baguettes he actually made two i don't know why two but I guess we're having two today. And I already have the pasta water boiling, like the pasta's already in. I have the salmon in the oven and now I'm gonna make the sauce until the pasta is done. So let's start because I'm starving. <laughs> and maybe it gave you some ideas please subscribe if you want to see more videos and give the video a like if you enjoyed it and other than that thank you so much for watching and i hope to see my next video bye